What are the implications of the dismissal of uh, Saudi Muswening's appeal? What kind of disciplinary proceedings is the SABC expected to institute? What is Mutsuening's legal team's next course of action? How is the Supreme Court ruling likely to impact the office of the public protector? What time is it? It's question time. Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Mpo Tseidu. The Supreme Court of Appeal has dismissed the appeal against part of a high court judgment that SABC Chief Operating Officer Saudi Mtsuening be suspended pending a disciplinary inquiry. The Democratic Alliance has welcomed the ruling, saying it is consistent with the remedial election ordered by the public protector. A reminder that this program is live and therefore you can call us and air your views on the numbers 089-110-4210. Our Twitter handle remains at question time 24. My guest today, Advocate Romeo Ntambeleni, is a practicing advocate of the High Court of South Africa and constitutional law instructor at the School of Legal Practice. And on the line, we're joined by James Self, who is the Democratic Alliance Federal Chairperson. And later, we should be talking to Advocate Zola Majavu, who is a Claudium Twinnings lawyer as well. Gentlemen, welcome to uh, the show. Good James, let me start with you. The Democratic Alliance has expressed uh, its joy over today's um, SCA outcome. Just talk to us about that briefly. Well, I think there are two uh, particular aspects of the judgment that we're very happy about. The first concerns uh, the corporate governance of the SABC. Uh, we do believe that the SABC is a public institution in South Africa. Millions of South Africans rely on it for their news, and its corporate governance should be uh, beyond reproach. Uh, but there's, I think, a far more important aspect of the judgment, and this goes to the force and effect of um, remedial action that is ordered by the public protector. Uh, and basically what the court found was that uh, the, it, was in, it, it was illegal for anyone to try to institute a parallel process to second-guess the public protector's remedial action. And that if you were felt aggrieved about a decision of the public protector, then your remedy lay in having that decision removed, uh, reviewed. Now, the implications for Nkandla and the public protector's report on the president's private residence uh, are obvious. There was corrective action uh, that was ordered. Uh, the Parliament of South Africa attempted to substitute the public protector's report was a separate and different investigation, and now the Supreme Court of Appeal has found that that is illegal, and obviously these are issues that we will be raising uh, when our application is heard in the Constitutional Court on the 7th of February next year. And it would appear that's uh, probably the bigger fish for you. Is that the case? Well, yes. Uh, this case was always about the public protector and their powers. Um, we chose this particular case because uh, of all the remedial action ordered by the public protector, that concerning Claudi Mozzanek was the most emphatic. It said he must face disciplinary uh, uh, hearing, he, he must uh, undergo a whole series of other processes, and um, so we decided that we were going to use this as a test case in order properly to understand what the force and effect is of, of public protectors' remedial action. Have you now politicized the case, as uh, some have been saying, instead of just... Well, you know, the, the, the problem is um, we have a constitution, and the constitution... Um, is both explicit in places and vague in places. Okay. And really what we are trying to do is where the Constitution is not explicit, uh, we are trying to give it content so that people know exactly what it means. So, for example, uh, two years ago, 
uh, we took a case to the Constitutional Court regarding the appointment of um, Menzi Simolani as the uh, uh, as the National Director of Public Prosecutions. And we argued that he was not a fit and proper person. Now, there was no previous jurisprudence that, uh, that determined what fit and proper meant. Mm. Now, in exactly the same way, we had a remedial action that was ordered by the public protector. Nobody had ever really unpacked what the force and effect of the public protector's remedial action actually meant. Yes. And this case provided us with the opportunity to do so. Now, in some senses, it does involve the courts in a political interpretation of what the Constitution means, mm. but somebody has got to do that. Because okay. it cannot be a situation where the Constitution means different things to different people. Okay, Advocate Ntambelen, welcome to Question Time. Thank you. Let's talk Good about evening. what uh, the judge uh, said, and I want us to perhaps just confine ourselves to um, the uh, Saudi uh, matter here. Indeed. Uh, it was a very good, valid uh, judgment uh, in its entirety, but uh, we must not uh, forget that it doesn't make a finding relating to uh, you know, uh, the guilt or the not guilt of uh, Mr. Mutsaning himself. It's about following the processes of the due course of the Constitution of the Republic. Mm -hmm. We know that the Constitution is the supreme law of the land. Any act uh, on conduct which is inconsistent with it uh, will be declared invalid. So the duty of our courts was simply to, to interpret the Constitution and, and enforce the powers of, of the public protector in, in line of, of what was happening mm -hmm. from the previous judge, judge, judgment at the, at the High Court. Yes. So the, the, the Supreme Court of uh, uh, Appeal merely confirmed the position of the, the public protector to say you cannot simply wish away the, 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 issue, the, the issues that are, are, are recommended by the public protector relating to remedial action, you know. And, and, and there are still other, the other opportunities open as, as the, the legal representative of, of Mr. Mutsoning himself they indicated that they are going to thoroughly start the judgment and then after having thoroughly started the judgment they will be able to you know, make an educated step of how they take the matter further. Okay, but what, what does it mean uh, for Mr. Mutsuening um, in the main... Uh, the, 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 the court simply you know, says the following. You know, uh, you know, uh, the public protector's findings of remedial uh, action must be implemented. Uh, the SABC is directed to you know, suspend and then uh, initiate the process of, of disciplinary action. That, that is the court order in, 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 answer, in mm. essence. That's, that's what it says. That's why the, 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 the judgment is, is more valued, and we are talking about it here in a much more nuanced way. But it creates a very good jurisprudence because it, it affirms the powers of the public protector as one of the you know, uh, you know, chapter 9 institutions. So okay. uh, it's, it's not about the guilt or the innocence of, mm. of any party mm. in, involved in this proceeding. It's to say, let's look at the, at the processes and let's avoid a, you know, a, you know, a litigation that is you know, continuous, mm. that is unending. So that's why you know, the, 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 you, the court also indicated, if, if you have followed, next week the part B that was not disposed of is going to be actually disposed solely on that score to say, we, we want to lay the matter to rest. You know, we want to create a good jurisprudence in our country. This is the constitution that we have all created during the de democratic uh, dispensation. And, and we have made our bed. We must just simply lie in it and, and follow the, the, you know, the processes of the constitution that direct us. And uh, we, we must not be too quick to say, you know, the, the judgment says this one is guilty and it's not. It, it was not speaking about that in, answer, in essence. Okay. Now, um, does this therefore mean that the DA, you're going to follow up on uh, perhaps ensuring that there are disciplinary proceedings uh, instituted against uh, Saudi Muswani? Uh, well, yes. Um, we, uh, we trust that the SABC will in fact um, carry out uh, what the court ordered them to do, assuming that they don't uh, wish to appeal the matter. Mm -hmm. um, but um, we, would, we would, you know, hope that, that an organ of state, which the SABC is, uh, would in fact um, have sufficient uh, sense to, to actually carry out a court order. And, and if they didn't, it would be a very serious matter. Well, we Living in South Africa, yeah, so sometimes court orders are not necessarily uh, followed. Uh, Mr. Self? Okay.
uh, I guess that escaped him. Um, we're going to take a quick break. When you return, 089 We'll be taking your calls. This is question time. to greatness is not an easy one. It's rough, tough, and full of barriers. And there's only one way to master it. Never, ever stop. Dauntless, the all-new Audi Q7. Welcome back. You're still watching Question Time and we're still uh, battling to get uh, another guest uh, who is uh, Cloud and Twinning's uh, legal representative. However, in studio, Advocate Romeo Ntambedeni, a practicing advocate of the High Court of South Africa and constitutional law instructor at the School of Legal Practice. However, Advocate Zola Majavu, will try and, uh, we are still trying to get hold of him and we hope we will get him on the line soon. However, right now we're taking your calls. 089-110-4210. What do you think um, of the judgment that was pronounced today by the Supreme Court of Appeal on the uh, issue affecting Claudium Twining and the public protector there? So, Advocate, does it therefore mean that indeed this becomes case law and perhaps a point of reference for those who uh, want to, to get other pronouncement uh, by the public uh, uh, protector um, you know, uh, to, to effect them? Indeed. One can say that it, it actually you know, vindicates the, 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 the office of the public protector in a sense. The vulnerable function of the office of the public protector in relation to you know, the findings of the public protector. We must all remember that the public protector does not uh, initiate you know, investigation unprompted. Mm. You know, the, 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 the public protector is prompted to make investigations. Thorough investigations are conducted. A simple principle of law of Audi Altran Patum rule, which says to, you know, uh, to hear the other side of the case, you invite the, you know, the opponent party. And, and I remember uh, when reading the full judgment, Mr. Mzaneng was in, invited first to make some representation, mm -hmm. and then a determination is made, and then a report is made, and then those remedial action of the report are, are supposed to be done. And there were time frames that were put on the, on, on the public protector's report to say, by this date, you are supposed to comply. But it's not the be it and the end all for uh, relating to this case because it, it has a constitutional aspect of it and, and it might well be, be taken to the constitutional court as well to, to, uh, to, to get a you know, final finding because mm. we must remember that our constitutional court is the apex court in the, in yes. the land to discuss, you know, decide constitutional matters. So uh, there's still that, that, that uh, okay. option that is open. So we don't know. Obviously, we have not spoken to the legal rep representatives of if uh, that's the, on an option. Yes. That okay. Yeah, they will have to decide. Martin, you're calling us from Pumalanga. Welcome to Question Time. Hey, good afternoon. How are you? We are well. Thanks for the call, bro, Martin. Hi, I'm good. Uh, I'm just fascinated by by the whole saga, yes, But I think it will be prudent for 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 our government, our parastatals. Uh, not to pick and choose uh, when the when the public protector has done their work and uh, given a recommendation, the remedial actions who can act on those who don't want, but I don't those ones who want to, we just have to create. Something else out of the blue, but, but I think it do. Uh, the court has made it very clear that we have to to follow a due processes, uh, okay. which is going to restore the dignity of uh, of the people, which we want uh, as a South African 
nation we have seen uh, government it is floating the very same processes with Kanza we can hope this can bring sanity to all of us because we have been waiting okay. for this for a very long time because we're seeing pick okay. and choose. Martin, thank you very much for the call. Um, we really appreciate it. But now, tell me, does it mean that the SABC is therefore compelled to suspend Saudi? It's a court order. As, as, uh, no, your, your, your other speaker that you started with uh, spoke about, uh, and a court order has uh, implications to say if you don't comply with it, you're in contempt of court. You are, it's a directive of a, of a court. Uh, just a day ago, there was there was a, 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 a case in the Western Cape High Court which dealt with the with the issue of the speaker, mm -hmm. you know, and then and it was dismissed. Uh, there, there are certain judgments, as the, the, the caller has actually said, that we might like, and the certain you know, certain ones that we might not like, and those ones that we like obviously will go on the shoot or a rooftop shouting about them. Mm -hmm. That is a victory of justice, and you know the courts have vindicated us. But because we have got this constitution that is supreme, that we have all agreed upon it. Uh, we have made our bed, we must just simply lie in it, although sometimes it might be an uncomfortable bed to lie in, okay. given the situation. Now, you have a scenario where they say um, <laughs> money should be paid back. Yeah. Right? Does it mean uh, that, well, in case whatever uh, the process is, uh, then Saudi must pay back uh, the millions uh, that he has been paid? We, 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 we are sort of, uh, th th this slogan of, of pay back the money has been overused now. And, and, and we can't uh, you know, predetermine the causes of what ought to happen. I, I, I'm of the view that, uh, you know, uh, given the, the reading of the judgment, we, we still uh, you know, have to wait and see what, what, what actually happens. So okay. the issue of, of, of uh, less to become preemptive, of, of saying who will pay back what, it's not a subject that we can be able to you know, okay. make a determination on now. That's right. it, that, by the way, the court didn't even say that. They said proper due process was not followed. The public protector's remedial action was, was not followed. And then we insist that the, 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 the powers of the public protector are almost similar, interchangeably in terms of the language, to the, to, to, to the court order. Okay. Yeah, yes. All right. Kabelo, you're calling us from around Gauteng. <clears throat> yes, um, Paul, thank you very much. Um, I, I just need to say that, that uh, South Africa, I think we are very much happy that this case now has, this decision has now um, clarified the powers of the public protect and that we will be able now to have control over our political cohorts who have decided that uh, the, the, they have more powers or they have similar powers as the, as the public protect. And we are very much glad. And, and I think that this, this decision or this judgment will also assist us with the Nganda matter where parallel institutions, parallel committees have been created to, 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 to decide or, or second guess the public protector's report. Okay. So I, I'm happy. Thank you very much. Uh, Cabello, before you go, are you still yes. there? Yes. Okay, I wanted to check. Is it, um, it would appear to me that uh, people seem to have been looking way beyond this uh, mm. Saudi matter here. Mm. Um, it would appear that Nkanza was more of mm. an issue out of this particular issue. Mm. Is this how you also uh, looked at it? Yeah, I I indeed. It is, it is actually what I've been looking at. Because um, wh what is happening here is that you, you, you find people second-guessing uh, uh, the constitutional matters. And now that there's clarity now, we will be able to say, now look, uh, we cannot have uh, uh, the, uh, the minister uh, deciding on what must be paid and what not okay. uh, when the public protector has already pronounced. Okay. Uh, uh, that will help us indeed uh, clarify uh, issues like that. Yes. Okay, thank you very much, Kabel. Thank you very much. Um, okay. Yeah. Don't forget, it would appear that indeed. Um, there's, there's more to this case than, you know... It means the eye. Yes. You know, people are looking beyond the borders. Here we are not speaking about the, the issue of Nkandla. Mm. There was no Nkandla mentioned in that matter. <laughs> there was no Nkandla mentioned in the, in the Supreme Court of Appeal judgment and anything. is the issue involving the parties that were cited on the papers in the Supreme Court of Appeal. And I've read the full judgment. There was no way, you know, that it was cited that this case has the implication by the way, interpretation is a, is a different issue altogether. It's a different issue of uh, uh, kettle and, and kind because one will want to interpret and read things into, into things that are not supposed to, to be done. The judges don't do that. They tread carefully and everything. And even in the conclusion of the judgment, they indicated that the options are still open and everything. We are not saying that this is the, 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 the final you know, you know, call or mm. the death knell to, to this issue. 
that uh, has been indicated. And you remember the function, the, the, the previous you know, meeting of the judiciary and the issue of separation of powers. The, the, you know, it was indicated that you know, the state and the judiciary will work you know, each other hand in hand and work harmoniously with each other in order to respect the court's rule. That's why the decision of the Western Cape High Court of yesterday, which is relevant, indicated the very same issue that we're speaking about, about the issue of separation of powers. So, you know, uh, we, we can't put the card before the horse and then speak about all this implication from a legal perspective. What uh, are uh, uh, Saudi's options here? Obviously, as, as we have already indicated, we, we are not his legal representative, but we think that he has, he has got competent legal representative that will study the, the judgment thoroughly, as they've indicated. And then if the option is there, the Constitutional Court is, the, is, a, is an apex court in the land. They have a duty to interpret the Constitution and, and give it certainty to us so that we'll be able to know what, what the issues are. Those options are there. Like any other you know, a person, Saudi you know, has a, you know, a, the right to you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, exhaust all his remedies that are available okay. to him. Okay. Know. Yes. Professor, you're calling us from Tawazimbi. Yes, Mpo. Good afternoon. Oh, uh, uh, is this Professor calling from Tawazimbi or Professor Tawazimbi? Professor calling from Tawazimbi. Okay, thank you. Yeah, um, Mpo, uh, uh, good afternoon, uh, uh, Advocate there. Good afternoon. Uh, mm, Mpo, this issue of, um, you know, I welcome the ruling of, uh, I, mean the, the, I mean, the court that Saudi Muslims should be suspended. I mean, it's, it's, it's long overdue that, uh, and then I think this is a lesson for some people or organizations who have been, you know, despising or undermining the, I mean, the office of the, 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 the I mean, the, the public protector. There has been this issue of um, the, I mean, the, the, the office of the, the, I mean, the public pro protector can only, uh, I mean, recommend, and then uh, the, 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 this issue of remedial action. I think he, even if you look at the at the case of Uganda that is supposed to be underway, I mean, I mean, for, I mean, next year January. I think, uh, I mean. You, you you look at after the the, the, the public pro protect has given his, her findings. There were issues of uh, I mean, I mean, I mean police minister and what and and and, and uh, so the the, the 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 whole thing about I mean this whole this whole argument I think is going to put to rest all this argument that okay we are going now to know the powers where the powers of the, the I mean the, the, the public, public protect are and, and the, you know it's it's surprising that. Like the, I mean, the, the, I, mean the, 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 I mean, the advocate has just said now. There are some people who, when uh, I mean, the, the, I mean, the verdicts or the decision favors them. Then they said, "Oh, no, 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 no." Then they, I mean, they celebrated and said, that they, and the, "The law has taken this court." And, and then, oh, but when they don't favor them, Prof, let me yes. thank you. Let me thank you for the time. Uh, unfortunately, we've run out of time, and uh, we now have uh, Advocate Zola Machavu on the line. What's the next step, Advocate? I don't practice as an advocate, my brother, but thanks for the kudos. <laughs> I can confirm that uh, my client has taken note of the judgment of today. Uh, it is not something that you are particularly worried about. He certainly respects uh, the public protector's office. He also respects the court. However, uh, like your guest has indicated, there's a whole host of other options that are available to us. I do not want to let the cat out of the bag mm -hmm. at this stage because, as you would know, there is a review, which is Part B, that is currently enrolled back in the Western Cape High Court for Monday, Tuesday, and possibly Wednesday this coming week. But as matters stand, if the SADC were inclined to abide by the SEA ruling in the form of calling him before the disciplinary inquiry, he would welcome that. In fact, would reach the opportunity. But we don't know what the SADC stance would be. And at the moment, I have advised him to stay put until his employer decides what to make of the SCA decision, but we're not faced. Okay, so um, is he at work? Will he be at work until when? It is up to his employers to decide mm -hmm. when and, and how soon they would want to subject him to that disciplinary inquiry because the judgment of the Western High Court, uh, court said pending the finalization of those disciplinary inquiries, he should remain suspended. But the suspension on our reading of the judgment is that it only kicks in 
when the employer decides to do indeed take those disciplinary proceedings. So the board is taking the employer's court, but the possibility of a, a challenge in the constitutional court on various legal interpretations that we believe are of a constitutional nature still remains open to him. But I am yet to receive those instructions. So it is not over yet, not by a long shot. So, Lamanjav, thank you very much for the time. And uh, African Tamilian, also thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Zed. All right, that was question time for today. A big thank you to my guests and to you for watching the show. From me and the crew, have yourself a wonderful time. Goodbye. Victory requires intense effort, intense effort and teamwork. When you get to it, there is no turning back because all eyes are on you. When it's action time, nothing should stand in your way. Sports Life tackles and analyzes all the sports action. This is the home of all your sport news, updates, and more. Sports Life weekdays at 8:30 p.m. monitor the title says it all can we really afford more job losses at such a critical time in our economy join our panel of experts as they unpack and monitor all the leading and breaking news stories making waves in the print and social media platforms it seems we don't have a famous son-in-law any longer Liva, what do you say to this? <laughs> An well, A-lister. I'll, I'll, I'll leave this one to Liva. He's the romantic. <laughs> Watch Media Monitor with me, Alicia Jali. Sundays at 9 a.m. only on the SABC News Channel. This is Rights and Recourse. This act says... We are all the same, we are all equal before the law. I have a fundamental problem with her saying that traditional leaders are recognised as the de facto owners of the land. Uh, that isn't in the constitution, nor is it in any law. Unpacking your legal rights and cost of action. The constitution starts from the point that we are one country and that we, won't, we need to have a system that actually consolidates that, but also recognizes the different compositions of different communities. With due respect to Aninka, I know she is happy that the head queen in England is the owner of the whole land. She's not having any authority. Chief Mugwena, we will we, 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 we get to some must, of the other you issues. You must throw that, that, that Aninka is um, queen of England. Please, that's, that's completely unacceptable. That's Rights and Recourse, Sundays at 2 p.m. on the SABC News Channel. Welcome to Network, a technology news program that also discusses what's trending in social media in and around Africa. MTN has launched its new movie and television streaming service, Front Row.